the, the book is about all the stages of um, modern drug discovery and development for psychiatric and neurological drugs uh, treatments like um, for depression, um, Alzheimer's, those are two of the main indications. Um, and we cover it from the very early idea stage. How, how, how do you get to an idea for a new treatment of, of, uh, of depression? And then goes all to the way to the discovery stages where you try to find a compound, development, where you test the compound in humans to see if it's safe, if it works. And then including the uh, uh, regulatory approval. So like the European Medicine Agency needs then to approve the drug and you need to convince them that it's safe and efficacious and then you can market it. So we cover that whole, the whole range. The idea for the book actually is not mine. It, it, it was an, uh, an editor for Springer Verlag that approached us. Um, and she knew about the Research Master course and she was very intrigued and she thought that, um, well, every course could actually be a chapter in the book and then may also be used within the course. That was the original idea. Um, and like so often, you know, with those requests, you're, you think, I got other things to do and who wants to write a book anyway? No one reads it. <laughs> Which turns out to not be true. Um, but she persisted quite a bit. Yeah, my, my, my favorite part, um, you know, um, perhaps from the chapter that I wrote, <laughs> because you spend a lot of time with it and actually more than I intended to do. And then you start asking yourself well, why I'm doing that. Uh, you have your personal motifs. And then I came across this um, um, this entry in uh, uh, in a publication that I cite actually in the first chapter of the book, and um, I had like goosebumps <laughs> that someone can can phrase that uh, if he could read my thoughts and then translate that in words that I could not come with uh, myself. For those of us who have established our careers in drug discovery. At the end of time, it will be our good works that will have made a difference in the world we live and our inner sense of contributing to a noble cause, namely the war on disease, agony and fear that needlessly reigns upon millions of human beings because of the lack of medicines. Indeed, drug discovery is a noble cause and raison d'être for transformational leadership by way of virtuous thought, word and deed. Let us take time to think, speak and act in new ways in our quest for such good works in drug discovery with a greater understanding of the words of wisdom that virtue is its own reward. Goosebumps? So the importance of visualization, um, of course, is a sign of the time, but also in science, it, it's more than a nice to have. Uh, because if I review papers, for example, your first thing is you want to get as much information as quickly as possible. And, and, and a video or a, a graphical abstract is going to do that. And if that rocks, then you're committed actually to go further and, and to go deeper. So I have asked the contributors, um, to, to add generously tables and visualizations. And I've been uh, amazed how many responded. And then you also ask if I have a favorite, um, that is tough, but there's certainly one that, that, that struck me. And that is the, uh, the chapter about the EEG um, from Anke Sambut. And, and personally, it's, it's very technical. I've been struggling. I also tried to learn from the chapters, right? <laughs> because you can measure within the cell, on the cell, you can measure populations of cells. Um, and, and ask her to make an, uh, an, uh, a visualization of that, which she did. Uh, and I think she did a really, uh, really good job. And that's just one, one example, I guess, of, uh, of many.